Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are completing Horus next month, then Vesta and Tot the month after. And we have Uranus and Venus orbiting, uh, uh, ready to launch in four and seven months, respectively. Our Galileo payload will be ready next month, which is our uh, Jupiter orbiter. So, yeah, we're doing quite all right. So, let's continue on next month. Giant Martian volcano discovered. Your satellite orbiting Mars has discovered a massive extinct volcano on the planet, dubbed Olympus Mons. And standing at 22 kilometers high, it's the largest known volcano in the solar system. Gained 300 support. All right. Galileo research complete. And our modular st Space Station 2 vehicle is complete. L assigning astronaut Bella Arias will increase payload mission training bonus by 100%. Okay. Well, I don't know if we're going to go with payload. I don't think we are. We're going to go with science. Um, let's see... We have lucky plus five percent chance of positive mission events. Okay, we have a safeguard plus one command on final turn of each task. Okay, well, I want a scientist, uh, Bruno. I think we're going to rename, uh, actually, cancel. Uh, you retire in 2012. Yeah, we're renaming you to Jadius Jr. And Jadius is coming along. And then we are bringing our bootstrapper as well. Because we're... Whoa. Uh, Jadius Jr. and Mathieu. Confirm. And we're doing science. Yeah, science. And... I guess we'll go in May, and if that doesn't work out, then we'll go in September instead. Confirm. For research... I think... Now, we could unlock some of these. 5% launch liability. Two additional contractors doing vehicle construction. But we have so much that we need to unlock to get those. And I don't really feel like we need them. So... We need two more to unlock this stuff down here. So why don't we unlock something here? Whoops, I didn't mean to select that. 2400, 2400, 2400. Hmm. Capacity 8000 kilos plus 10%. Bonus reliability bonus build time three months. So they cost the same. They take the same amount of time. They, the bonus reliability is the same, but this delta gets two thousand extra kilos. So let's do that. We have a new mission somewhere. Oh, a Jupiter. There we have the Jupiter orbiter, of course, which we will be doing. Well, Vesta and Tot are complete next month. 
So the Tethered Mars Mini Rover payload is complete. And our Infrared Observatory vehicle is complete. New commission training bonus increased by 100%. Okay. Oh, that is terrible reliability. I think we'll go. Oh, that is a lot of science, though. I think we will go with the payload reliability. And then we'll go in September, get that up to 65% at least. Though, if we do this. Gives us 8,880 science. And then if we go in September, it's 10,440 science. It's almost, that's 1,600 science extra. But, you know what? Let's do this. And we'll go in... September still to get that up and then we'll hopefully get the bonus rewards okay then we need to design a new vehicle for this bad boy we'll go with Agena and for the booster we'll go with the Atlas That's not enough, so... Uh, the Atlas is just so reliable and so cheap. So that's what we're going with. And we'll go with composite casing to reduce the cost a bit. And confirm. All right. We're launching the modular space station in two months. We're launching Uranus flyby in two months. So let's just keep going. And the two times Delta research is complete. And the Uranus flyby, very reliable launch, reasonable payload, 109 month mission. Modular Space Station, it's 93% reliable launch on launch, 75% on the payload, and a lot of science. Let's launch this bad boy. Weather is looking good, 1% risk of a critical failure, that shouldn't be too bad. Knock on wood, and off we go. Looking good. Still looking good. All systems nominal. And we are off to space. Very nice. And we get a secure launch. Very good. Man, that shuttle is just so worth it. It's cheap, it's reliable, it can lift a lot. It's wonderful. All right, we need to think about drift for the Earth orbit here. We need 40 comms. An eight and eight. Okay. Wow. Uh, great precision is required. Must equal 10. And we start at zero. So we need to get 10 here on the first turn. Jesus. A falling outside the parameters will only fail the mission when no turns remain. So keep drift within the required parameters to complete the task. Falling outside the parameters will only fail the mission when no turns remain. Okay. Okay. The remote access seems like a good way to start. Actually, why don't we do manual data collection twice? That gives us four and four. Then 
we can do maybe two visual data collections just to get the drift going in the right direction. That's, I just want to be sure here. Uh, confirm. So I just want to see, will it fail me if it's not up there at the end of this turn? We'll see. If not, then I'm happy with this, with the choices I made. All right, very nice. An extra two data. Very good. Ah, damn it. One percenter. Uh, will increase by one. I don't mind that at all. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, good. So now we're at seven. And we have four and ten. Now... I want to do this, then I want to do this, it gives me 10, 11, and 2, and then I think I want to do this. 11, 10, and 4. Oh, I have one more. Which means I can do... Line burst transmission taking me to 17, 12, and 0. Okay. All right. Um, I think I'll do this one again. And then the line burst transmission. And then a flyover course adjustment and another aligned burst transmission. That takes me to 28, 15, and 2. That's fine. All right. Very nice. Okay. We will be doing this again. Now, we do need to get some let's do that and then do that that takes me to 40 18 and 4 and we need to get 4 adjustments which we can by doing that and that next turn I think I'm okay with this nice ah, one that we don't really care about All right so we have to do that and we have to do that and that that takes us up there and we can even do a recharge and we are perfectly aligned so we can resist three times we have three power remaining and we have everything we need here to get our 50 percent bonus reward so that's all good and we resist that uh, accept that and accept that all right, 50% bonus reward achieved. Very nice. And we have completed, completed Space Station 2. 
first five extra, extra 550 support and we do the missions so minus 50 percent missions research for six months and we get more than three thousand more than four and a half thousand support very nice and 350 science for 20 months that is awesome and jadius and mature are on the space station all right uh, China is launching Uranus flyby, uh, but we are ready to launch that as well. Uh, but they're launching it in 25 months. So, yeah, we'll probably win that. And we finished our research of the Delta, so now we can go over to missions and start getting some of those done. Uh, modular Space Station 3... Let's do that. And then we have a mission ready to launch. Our Uranus flyby. This is ready to launch in four months, three months. And this completes in three months. All right. Well, let's launch our Uranus flyby. And 1% chance of a critical failure. No chance of a negative event. All right, I'll take that. Very nice. All right, Uranus flyby, let's go. We are in the air. Clear of the tower. We're pushing through Max Q, and we are in space. Very nice. And we definitely didn't get a negative. Ooh, we got a positive. Strong comms, plus one comms on first task in mission. That's not the greatest, is it? But Titan 3 got more reliable. Athena got more reliable. Very good. I got an achievement there, boosted. All right, we need some thrust. We need 16 comms, 16 nav, and 16 thrust. So we need to hit this four times on the last turn, which means that we need eight data to be ready for the last turn, and we need an extra four nav so we need to be at 20 nav okay well we can do a signal attenuation test then we can do a manual thrust adjustment um, then we can do two ultraviolet imagings which gives us the data that we need, then we don't need to worry about data at all anymore. And we have three nav as well. I think I'm okay with that for a start. Very nice, good start. Our payload isn't the most reliable, but it's not the most unreliable either. One positive, one negative, I can live with that. Let's resist that because I don't want to have to get more data. All right. Well, we... Hmm. What if we do one of these? Then do two of these. It takes us to 13. And then we can do a transmission boost. That takes us to 6, 10, and 8. I think I'm okay with that. I'll resist that. I don't want that to be reduced by 2. That would suck. And we actually would have, wouldn't have been able to do our other 
things if we had allowed that to happen. And so now we can do this twice, then we can do this twice. And that takes us to 14 and 14 and 8. Oh, Jesus, one percenter. Uh, let's resist it. Nice. Nice. And we'll resist this as well. Actually, I'll accept that. Because we'll do one in there. That takes us to where we need to be. 17 and 17. And then we can do a couple of recharges. Actually, we'll do one recharge. Uh, we're not where we need to be because we need three extra nav. So we'll do that, we'll do that. And we'll then we'll next turn we'll do a manual thrust adjustment. Actually, we don't need to. Yeah, we do. Because we need four extra of these, so yeah. Alright, we have two turns remaining, so it's fine. Nice. Very good. Okay. So we have two turns remaining. All we need to do is a manual thrust adjustment. That gives us both of what we need. And then we can recharge three times. We need eight data. We have that. We need four nav. We have that spare. So all good. And we even get a bonus here. Very nice. And one, two, three, four. 50% bonus reward. Very good. Nice. We don't need to resist anything, but we will. Because we have the power to do it, so why not do it? And there we go. First phase of our Uranus flyby is complete. And that gives us 455 support and 60 signs for 54 months. Okay. Very nice. We have a renewed quest mission here. Control systems check with, with the Japanese. But we don't have any... Oh, we do have a mission slot. Do we want to do that with the Japanese? I suppose we could. Go ahead. Let's do it. We'll give it some extra power. Build that payload. And that'll complete in two months. Alright. Japan completed Jupiter flyby as the second nation to do so. The second agency. Uh, we are... Are we planning the Jupiter orbiter? No, we're not. But we should do that next. Alright, our Mercury payload is ready. Only vehicle upper stages reliability comes towards launch reliability. Okay. Uh, we will design this. I think, well, can't we do this very, very cheap with an Ariane? Or even a Star 37. But or was it only the upper stage counts towards liability? You know what? Let's reuse the shuttle here.
And we'll do advanced shock absorption. For a little more payload reliability. Um, my mouse is being a little bit is being a little bit annoying. We could design a new shuttle. That would take a while. I don't think we need to design a new shuttle. We can reuse one of the ones that we have. Uh, we'll reuse this one. No, we'll reuse the other one. The Beetlejuice. And we'll switch this over to be a advanced shock absorption. And then let's see. We don't get halo reliability from anything, so we actually we can reduce it, but I really don't want to do that. Two months fitting time. 752,000 to 752,000. Ah, okay. Uh, we'll just do it in house. Confirm. And refit the shuttle. All right. Uh, next, we have the Majestic complete, and we're launching the Venus orbit. Roman named after fallen astronaut. Oh, it's so cool! United Space Nerds representative announced that the tethered mini rover, due to a due to a company, your Mars lander will be named Dinky Bernard. Oh, what an honor, Dinky! I'm so happy about that. The selection follows a high-profile world well competition in which students were invited to submit an essay about a hero of their choosing. The winning entry came from a 15-year-old in Texas who wanted to pay tribute to United Space Nerds astronaut Dinky Bernard. Oh, I like that. I really like that. Dinky deserves to be honored. Oh, that is so cool. Gained 250 support. And modular space station 3 research is complete. And we've each reached era 4, multiplanetary species. Mars is firmly in the sights of all the space agencies. Landing humans on the red planet is widely seen as the first major step in making us an interplanetary species. But who will reach Mars first? We will. Tethered Mars Mini Rover, vehicle complete. The Dinky Bernard! I really like that. Mission training bonus is increased by 100%, but the payload is 10% less reliable. All right, uh, we have our Venus orbit, 86% launch reliability, 70% payload reliability, and a good amount of science. Let's launch. Weather is looking good, adequate conditions, plus minus zero. 4% risk of a critical failure. Let's go. Let's do this. Cleared the tower. Wonderful. Go, go, go. And we are through max Q and we are going to space. And we have a secure launch. Nice. Atlas and Agena don't get more reliable than they are. This is a milestone mission as well, but we're finishing like fourth or fifth. All right, so we need 12 nav, 12 thrust. We get four thrust per time we hit that. So we need to hit it three times on the last turn. We need to have six data and three comms stored up for the last turn. Okay, we can do that. All right, we'll start with a signal attenuation test. Then we'll do a manual thrust adjustment. Um, and then we'll do a micrometeorite detection. We have five turns, three commands per turn. Damn it. Let's resist that. Okay. 
we could in reality do the same thing once more, which I think we'll do. That gives us six, two, and six. Confirm. Nice. And extra calm there. Very good. And then I think we'll do the same thing one more time. That gives us nine, four, and nine. That's more than enough data. More than enough data. So do we really want to do the last thing here? Maybe just do this. Then we can do one signal attenuation test uh, next turn and recharge our power twice and be ready for the final turn. So, yeah. Nice. Darn it. Darn it. Uh, I'll accept that. it doesn't matter signal attenuation test recharge power twice we have enough nav we have the three comms that we need we have the uh, six data that we need so yeah accept that and then one two three 50 percent bonus reward perfect and we can resist everything which we will. Very nice. Off to Venus. So 182 support, 309 science for four months. Not bad. We need to set some research. And it will, of course, be the Svezda. We have, how for how long? For three months. We won't be able to finish that. Uh, let's do Mars prep sample retrieval. Let's just check here. Does anyone have the Modular Space Station 3 research? No, and we're halfway there at least. So, okay. All right, uh, we have uh, to get ready for the tethered Mars mini rover. The payload reliability isn't great, but the science what the science takes us up to 2869 uh, let's just uh, you know what I'm gonna do payload reliability and we'll launch in November and we're going in November no matter what all right, we're going in October then. See if the weather is good, then we can postpone to November, and in November we're going no matter what. This will take our payload reliability up to 77%, which is reasonable. So confirm that. And in the next one, we will be launching the Infrared Observatory. We'll be launching the Tethered Mars Mini Rover, the Dinky Bernard, and Beetlejuice will be completing the next phase of the Venus orbit will be ready. And we have the control systems check, which is building in two months. Why are there only... Can I... Uranus flyby. 
Oh, mid-course maneuver in four years and three months. It'll be a little while. So that's why we can't see it on the list there. All right, that's fine. Cool. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.